Hello guys, you are welcome to my channel, Ajimats41. In this video, I want us to quickly look at this calculation, right, sent to me by one of our students. And uh, we're going to give it a quick shot. It's a chemistry problem, okay? The volume of a gas under a pressure of 100 millimeter of mercury is 20 cubic centimeter. If the volume is increased by 75%, the new pressure will be so have the options provided here in millimeter of mercury. So we are looking for the new pressure. This question is a gas law related problem. Okay, and if you look at the data provided, the parameters, information given to us, you would see that there are two main quantities that are being connected there, the pressure and the word volume. So all we have to do is to ask ourselves, which gas law deals with the relationship between pressure and volume? And you will agree with me that it is Boyle's law. Boyle's law tells us that if temperature is constant, pressure will be inversely proportional to volume. So clearly, this is a Boyle's law related problem. Are you following, right? It's a simple one because we know according to Boyle's law, P1 V1 will be equal to P2 V2. Now, the problem we have in this question, yeah, if this is given to a student, the area that could a kind of shape the student is the interpretation of this 75%. Yeah. Once someone is able to interpret the implication of this 75% increase in volume, uh, you just solve and play around the question that we have here. And so I am going to quickly explain this. And this is why GMAT41 will always appreciate and talk about the value of our basic school level of learning. I can remember, I think in basic five, primary five, we deal with percentage increase and percentage decrease of a given quantity. And let me say this quickly, if I give you a value and I tell you to increase that value by a particular uh, uh, percentage, what you are going to do is simply, that percentage I give to you, take that percentage value off that given value. Like here, we are told that the volume is increased by what? 75%. Initially, from the question, you see our initial pressure, P1, is 100 millimeter of mercury. And then P2, okay, V1, rather, is equal to 20 cubic cm. Now, the question went further to tell us that the volume is increased by 75%. So, our V2 here will be equal to, since the final volume is obtained by increasing you know, a previous volume by 75, because that's the meaning of this. If the volume is increased by 75%, you must have had the initial volume earlier, an original volume. It is that volume now you have to increase by 75%. So, working that out to get our final volume, we will take 75% of this initial value 20. And once we take the 75% of that initial value 20, we would now add whatever we get to that 20. 75% increase. That 75 is not the actual number by which this was increased. This thing is a percentage problem. It's just like maybe if someone gives, let's say two persons, okay, 150 Naira, and then tells them to share that money in a percentage of 60% to 40%. That does not mean that one of them will take 40 Naira and the other one will get 60 Naira, no. It's a percentage problem. So all we have to do is, you solve the percentage value of that 150. Take 40%, that is 40 over 100 times 150. Take 60 over 100 times 150. You now know the actual value, the actual amount that each of them will take. The same thing we apply here, 75% of 20, we would know the actual value, the actual volume, the actual amount that was added to this initial volume to increase it. Alright, so in solving this, we would say that V2 will be 75%, which is 75 over 100. We are going to multiply by 20. Anything we get from here will be the actual volume that was added to this 20 cm cube to increase it. So if I know that actual value, I will now have to add it to this 20 to actually get the new volume. Remember the rule, percentage increase. Take the percentage of that value. 
anything you get as an answer, add it to that value. So from here, 75% of 20, anything we get here, since we are increasing, we will add it to the initial volume 20. If we are reducing percentage reduction, once we take the percentage, anything we get, we'll subtract it from the original, which would mean 20 minus this percentage of 20, if it is reduction. But our question here, we are increasing. Now, having interpreted this, our V2 now is going to be, uh, this is 20, have 1, 20 into um, this will give us 5, you know, then 5 can divide this uh, uh, 75, how many times? Let's find out. That should be 15 times. Okay, 5 here, 1, and then 5 here will be 15. So, do you see 75% of 20 means that we increase this initial volume by adding extra 15 cubic centimeter to the original volume given to us. So, this is going to be plus 20. Because everything in the bracket, let me even close in bracket, is 15. Then we are adding 20 to rate, which is our original value. So you see clearly that V2 now is equal to 35 cubic centimeter. This is the, if someone is to say difficult, yeah, but of course it's not tough. I've interpreted it. But if we are to say, okay, this question is tough, this part of 75% is what makes it a bit complicated. And I have interpreted the meaning using our basic mathematics knowledge. So with this now we can uh, say, okay, we don't know P2, that's what we are looking for. Now recall that P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. And we are looking for what P2. So if you make P2 subject to the formula, it's going to be P1 V1 divided by V2. Let us fix up our values into this equation now to get our final pressure. So the P2 value will now be P1 given to us is 100. V1 given to us is 20. We are dividing by V2, which is 35. So what's going to be um, the P2 value? Let's see. You can reduce this. If you want, use 5 to reduce. And uh, 5 into 35 would give us 7. And 5 into, okay, let me come here. Say the, okay, say 5 into 20 is going to give us 4. So we have 400 over 7. Of course, if somebody has, uh, has a calculator, you can easily divide that. I follow impressing your calculator and get your answer. But let's proceed and see what we'll get. I don't have calculator here, so we can work it out. 400 over 7, let's see how many times. 7 cannot divide this 4, this four you know, to be 0. So for that reason, you attach this 0, you get 40. 7 can go into 40 how many times? Uh, 7 times 5 is 35, times 6 is 42, greater than what we are dividing. So you pick the smaller number. It means that 7 can go into 40 with 5 times. That 5 times will give us 35. So it will be remaining 5 to make up the 40 we divided, okay? So that remainder 5, what you have to do, attach it to this uh, 0 left. You know, I've divided this. It gave me 5 times. Remainder 5. Attach the 5 to this. 7 can go into 50. How many times? 7 times, you know? It will be 49. So the remainder will be 1. And I remember that that would be 1. I can write 57 whole number 1 over 7. But I want to get it in decimal, uh, uh, you know, in decimal. So what I'm going to do is 57 point. That remains that 1. I'll attach 0 to rate. You get 10. Divide by 7. 7 can go into 10 just one time. You can still do that. One time remains the 3. Okay. Attach 0 to the 3. You get 30. 7 can go into 30. How many times? That should be 4 times. So this is actually 1,4. And we are done with this. The new pressure will be 57.14, which is approximately equal to 57 millimeter of mercury. And this is our answer. I hope you enjoyed this solving, right? So you see clear that this question is simple. The correct option here is what? Option C. Good. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video lesson. Invite your friends, your course mates to subscribe to this channel as well too. And remember, you can enjoy exclusive benefits, especially for members only. And to do this, please join our learning community. All right, I'll be seeing you in my next video lesson.